All right, hello everyone. This is uh, Valhalla Gaming TV, and this is day two of the 31 Days of Horror. And today we're going to be playing Call of Cthulhu. Hope you guys are ready for this. Let's enter the madness. Select new game, and here we go. Never played this before. So, it's going to be all new to me. Chapter 1, Pierce Investigations Agency, Boston. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of reading. If I am mad, it is mercy. May the gods pity the man who in this callousness can remain sane to the hideous end. H.P. Lovecraft. Dirty fingers. Throws us right in here. Huh? Use left thumbstick to move. All the fish gets. Let's be to crouch. That's weird how it makes you crouch. All camera moves. It's gonna be disorienting. What's over here? Counter darkness. You must light up some items in order to interact with them. Pick up an object. Got ourselves a lantern. And some bolt cutters. Now we can cut open some of the gates. Open sesame. idea who that was. Gonna be a fish man. What a putrid offering. Nasty. And chosen for what? Gotta fight the invisible voice man. What a crazy dream. I had a dream of Davy Jones. I hate whiskey. There's a bunch of stuff in here. Consult Diary. Fierce Investigations Agency. My private detective agency contracted to the Wentworth Detective Agency. After the Great War, I decided to set up in Boston where there is no lack of work for guys like me. One small-time case follows the other. Adultery, settled scores, disappearances that are not actually disappearances. The old office couch is less comfortable than a real bed. 
and I should probably get rid of these empty bottles, but this place is mine for the moment. Uh, so he's an alcoholic, it seems. Uh, no ladder. Lost Battalion. N718. Uh, my old lighter that I engraved in memory of the 77th Infantry Division and the men of the Lost Battalion who fell. So it's in memory? I wonder if he was in it. Pierce. Oh, we got a, a skill. Skill tree going on. Spot hidden represents your ability to find hidden objects. Okay. Oh, we can look at that in a bit. Insanity. Mental trauma. Edward Pierce is a veteran of the First World War, where he took part in the Muse Argonne Offensive. He is one of the few survivors of the Lost Battalion. American units that suffered heavy losses from enemy and allied artillery fire, forced to hold their position for several days surrounded by bodies of their fallen comrades, without food or medical supplies. The soldiers were considered as lost by their fellow countrymen. Pierce is traumatized by these events. He consumes sleeping pills and liquor to ward off the nightmares that haunt him. So it looks like he's got PTSD. And my sanity is stable. Confidence in your abilities and your card is in mind. You con conduct your investigations by sticking to the facts, your convictions, and your perceptions of reality. Your conclusions are logical and reliable. Okay. So I guess if the sanity meter drops, then... I'll start making mistakes. Let's see what's around the agency. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. They let me open it, but I couldn't grab nothing. I used to be an avid reader. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. The, hu the husband never understood that his wife had left him. He kept on calling me weeks after the investigation has been closed. A good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. The bar owner who hired me didn't like the way I closed this case. But when you're already outside the law, there's not a lot one can do against a private detective who's got proof against you. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. I should get rid of all this stuff. Mm hmm. Turn off the old music. Been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. Is this a diary? The doctor can well repeat to me that I no longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay, but I know that if I stop, uh, the memories will return. One of these mornings, I probably won't wake up. Despite the treatment, I again hear voices in my dreams, but they are different, unknown. They seem to surf uh, surface from unfathomable and ancient depths. What nameless creature is calling me? Davy Jones, man. Knowledge. Okay, so I got the cases. It's a case closed and case solved. Have another drink, sir? No. What's this? I wonder why I still take these things. The doctor prescribed them when I returned from the war. They swore that they would put an end to my nightmares, but the, for a while now, their effect has been wearing off. Building up a tolerance. Who is it? I'm listening. Are you Edward Pierce? Private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? Yes. That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sheriff. In charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Of course. 
Allocate your character points. Each character point allows you to improve the score of a skill. I got eight character points. And it looks like, okay. Spot hidden. I'm an amateur. Spot hidden represents your ability to find hidden objects. Improve the skill. Um, improving the skill increases your chance of finding hidden objects. An undiscovered object will not appear in the game. Really? Uh, eloquence. Eloquence represents your ability to influence those you talk to by your power of speech. Improving the skill increases your chances of convincing or manipulating during discussions. That would be a good one. Strength represents your ability to call on your physical power. Improving this skill increases your chance of forcing doors or mechanisms, or using violence, physical or verbal, during interactive discussions. Eh, I can intimidate some people. I apparently rip doors off. Investigation. I'm a professional. Investigation represents your investigating talents. Improving this skill increases your chance of understanding past events by analyzing a crime scene or object and of picking locks. Hmm. That could be really useful. Psychology. Psychology represents your knowledge of human behavior. Improving this skill increases your chance of understanding the motivation of a person based on his or her behavior or the analysis of objects. Occultism. Uh, occultism represents your knowledge of the occult sciences. Improving this skill increases your chance of determining the use and origin of occult artifacts and of expressing your knowledge of the myth. So this will probably help me understand all the Cthulhu stuff. And then medicine. And medicine represents your medical knowledge. Improving this skill increases your chance of determining the dosage of a drug, of making a diagnosis, or of expressing your understanding of a medical problem. That'll be valuable too. Hmm. I got eight points to put in. I think I'm going to go with, uh, let's see, that's two points for... I'm going to go with the low ones for now. Spot hidden. Let's put one in there. Oh, you can put one at a time. Okay, that's level three. Now I'll be able to see some stuff that I might not have been able to. Let's do some occultism. I'm going to want to know about the Cthulhu. And maybe some psychology. No, not that one. Yeah, medicine. That'll work. There we go. Okay. Now validate. Yes. Thank you for this information, Mr. Pierce. Our files will soon be up to date. And on a related matter, may I raise a sensitive question? What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're oh. worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, do you still... Not taking the work. I'm coming. <clears throat> oh, that was polite. Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem, and I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. Well, he did not say that. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. <laughs> All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? <laughs> if you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl, she is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. 
They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. So the guy's just gonna... Oh, okay, he's not leaving. Your note book details current objectives. Okay. I guess I can look back at this if I need to. Examine the painting and examine the Hawken files. Check out that painting first. Its strange beauty isn't enough to hide the feeling of dread it carries. Consult diary. The occult. Intuitive and visionary artist for some. Overpriced imposter for other. Others. Sarah Hawken leaves nobody indifferent. This mysterious and reserved painter offers strange images, with violent colors and wild strokes. To, uh, to the world. If her painting. Paintings are testimonies to her vision of the world, then the world of Sarah Hawkins is a portal open to another dimension. Extract from the notebook of Edward Pierce's private detective. Okay. The painting depicts a monstrous silhouette threatening a woman and child. Flames can be made out in the background. Stephen Webster, uh, the father of Sarah Hawkins, thinks that it's linked to the death of his daughter. Okay. Looks like she might just be a fan of horror games. Back in like 1918. A warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. A shipping label. Some of it is unreadable, but I can make out part of the address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater. Uh, police report. It says that the uh, fire started in the dining room and claimed the whole family. The police decided on a domestic accident, accident, but they nevertheless insisted on Sarah Hawkins' mental fra uh, frailty. Why? A press cutting, an article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a businessman from the island of Darkwater. They live a reclusive life there with their only son, Simon. Eh. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? Uh, nothing. You're asking the wrong guy. I read about her mental fragility in the police report. Something's not right with this story. Let's see. Where Dark. did she live? Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. Let's go about the warehouse. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. <laughs> That's all the information I need. Yeah, what's with the uh, agility? You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. Maybe she was a medium. 
and saw octopus people. Something not rad about the story. was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. Hmm. Well, maybe the husband, since he's a big deal, using the mental fragility against her since she has visions to cover something else up. And he's got the police in his pocket. I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. <laughs> I'm on your side. Let's sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from dark water right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Ah, oh, shut your face, sir. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. I am a wannabe Sherlock Holmes. Dark water. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. Look in the old diary. Leave for dark, wa dark water. Find out about dark water. Okay. Ah, oh, we got the people here. A uh, 63 year old businessman, Mr. Stephen Webster. A wealthy businessman, well respected in the Boston area. Stephen Webster came to see me in order that I investigate the death of his only daughter, Sarah Hawkins. The man accepts neither refusal nor inconvenient truths. He is ready to do anything to prove his daughter was not mad. Okay, and then Charles Hawkins, deceased. 41 year old ship owner. Charles Hawkins was a local celebrity on Darkwater. Their heir of a ship owner family, he used to travel a lot. He met Sarah Hawkins during a trip in Paris. They fell in love, got married, and Hawkins took her to the remote island of Darkwater. They had a child named Simon and lived in a very secretive life. And Sarah Hawkins, deceased. She's a painter. Sarah, and she's 33, and, or was. Uh, Sarah Hawkins, a painter known for her tortured artistic universe. She was worshipped for the strangeness of her work and the rarity of her public appearances. I seem to remember that she was once said, I paint what my dreams whisper to me. That sounds pretty crazy. Her marriage to Charles Hawkins years ago surprised high society calm calmness. A wealthy Boston Harris, unknown for her party going, chooses to follow her new husband and live as a recluse on the island of Darkwater. She disappeared from the front of the pages of the newspaper, and nobody heard any more about her, even her death in a fire remains secret. Only her father, Stephen Webster, continues to seek the truth. And then the little kid, which also deceased, 11 schoolboy, only son of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, he died in the fire that claimed the whole family. The fire. It's probably what the painting was. It was like a. Probably saw a premonition. Okay, let's find that book that he was talking about, about the North Atlantic, the North Atlantic. Ooh, the Learning of Medicine Volume 1. A dense work aimed at interns and young practitioners. The first volume lists all illnesses known in the civilized world. It details the symptoms and suitable treatments. I wonder if this is like a skill book. Ooh, medicine progression. Look at that. Yeah, it is a skill book. Or did I get a skill? No, okay. Yeah, that's cool. The Lost Battalion. Holding your position and obeying orders. That isn't courage. See that he didn't like his stay in the military. Where is that book? There it is. Darkwater is off the coast of Boston, but I've never heard of it. According to this book, 
It was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century, but it seems to have been shunned since then. Darkwater Island has been inhabited since the 14th century and is still rich with the many memories left by its lost tribes. But don't let the romanticism of these moving evidence, evidences of such native or naive and primitive beliefs fool you into forgetting how violent their gods were. A gigantic creature still orients the walls of long abandoned caves. Uh, was it a sea or a dream god? No one knows. But today, in inhabitants, uh, the sons and daughters of the proud whale hunters still remember the mysterious and tum tumultuous, I don't know how to say that word, story of their small land of the coast of Massachusetts. Okay. All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water. See if you can save. Okay, it's got checkpoints. Alright, can I grab my hat? I guess I'll just go. The detective never leaves his hat. It looks like it's October 1924 on the calendar. Darkwater Port. Pierce took the Hawkins case. The cursed artist is accused of having caused the fire that killed her and her family. As the only clue, she left her father a disturbing painting on the shipping label and address. A warehouse set on the docks of the island Darkwater. The place seems to be a starting point for Pierce's investigations. This is kind of cool so far. A lot of reading though. But I'm a detective. I'm on a boat. Uh, I thought he was going to pull a pipe out. Land ho? The guy's got a face like he's seen some stuff. Call of Kabulu. Well, that looks like good news. There's a crash ship right there. Looks like a couple of them. Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Don't let me off the ship. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Ah, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink of the stranded whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the harbor master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. 
Those documents probably are going to be about the lady's husband. Who I already forgot the man's name. What was his name? Charles Hawkins. Okay. Talk to Fitzroy. Go to the bar. Eh. Alright, let's go to the bar real quick. Try to find out what this lantern's all about. Absolutely nothing. Perfect. Who are you? You got a pipe. I have the pipe. I'll be Sherlock Holmes. You don't talk much around here. <laughs> be the creeper through the window. Okay, let's go see what's inside. I look like a city boy for sure. That's nice. <laughs> hey, be careful. <laughs> Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. It wasn't me who went looking for it. The guy didn't show respect. You're overdoing it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Pure instinct. I behaved like a hun. And I sincerely apologize. Veteran, huh? 307th Infantry Regiment. Oh. Well, that'll be okay for now. But the war is over. Try not to forget it. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak then. I reserve the right to answer or not. Lead the fifth. No prohibition around here. Find out about dark water. Order a drink. Find out about dark water. Ease into this. Why the stranded well? Find out about Sarah Hawkins. Talk about him first. The stranded whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. All right, no one's asking about Sarah. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. That's not good. It's true that they were strange, if not speaking ill, it's true. Enough said about Sarah Hawkins. She seems superstitious. Let's not push that. Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, Who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. Well, I guess I can try that. Let's see what he does. Not speaking ill if it's true. Her vision. Was it so terrible? The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? Or don't. Enough said about Sarah. I've got what I need. Anything else? Uh, return. Find out about the warehouse. Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. 
I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? Sounds like the boat just left. I wonder if the warehouse is full of those paintings. And maybe they're coming to life at night and the sea creatures are coming out. No prohibition around I didn't here. expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? Oh, it's a she. Okay. That'll be all for now. Went to the bar. I got one skill point. Investigation represents your investigative talents. A uh, chance to understanding past events and crime scenes. Ability to influence. I want to start influencing people. I think that's a good idea. I feel like there's going to be a lot of uh, talking to people in this. So I'll put a point in there. Dark water. And now we got uh, Roy Mitchell, who is the owner of the strand stranded whale bar. Let's see. Knowledge. Alright. Oh, what else did we want to do? We wanted to go talk to Bradley and Fitzroy. But also, we got that lady in the corner that looked at us. He was around the bar. The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. Ah, the Chancery, 21st May 1847. Miraculous catch. Is it the Sila? And that was the ship that we saw outside before we came in. That was all uh, shipwrecked. Returns to the port to save Darkwater from famine. We had given up hope. The crew of the Sila, uh, or what remains of it, returned to Darkwater port late on Tuesday afternoon. The locals immediately rushed to the docks to welcome the last whaling ship on the island. People were amazed at the sight of the unbelievable catch the brave vessel had on board, or a size that went beyond that of a formidable toothed whale's. The, uh, what is that? Cetacean? Cetacean? Uh, that is already being called the miraculous catch. However, the whole deck and parts of it were hanging over the side of the ship. The survivor, surviving sailors told a frightening account of their perilous catch but also of its meat, unmatched in its quality and plentiful nutritious, nutritious benefits. There is no doubt that the immense size of this well will allow numerous inhabitants of dark water to feed themselves, bringing an end to the famine from which part of the island was suffering. And they got a warehouse for rent. Miss Marx is putting his warehouse, or Mr. Marx is putting his warehouse up for rent from June for fishing workshop or storage activities you can contact him via your favorite newspaper or visit him on the docks and then we got a special evening at the stranded whale to celebrate the return of our brave whalers all of the staff of the stranded whale invite you to an exceptional and free tasting event come with your family or with friends to taste the miraculous catch each person will leave with a bottle of oil so don't hesitate i'm getting some vibes around here like people like some, they caught something big. And the doctor, oh, hold on. He, he laughed. My God. Oh, they missed it. Said it was from the asylum. Yeah, I'm. Do it again, you know. The girl doctor, cold. She won't stop asking. Not that again. She will get us into trouble. Uh, I know. I know. So they're members of an asylum. Why is there an asylum on this island? I'm thinking they caught something on that boat. And then now they're serving it to everybody. And maybe people are turning into fish people. Hmm. Nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering. 
will follow its reader and appear at various locations, gifted with its own consciousness, until it finds a new reader. Has got some weird scars on him. Ah, that's it. Maybe we should let him take it. No, no, the risks are too high. It's a book, after all. Pure knowledge. Guys, talking crazy stuff. Do you like our song? <laughs> no. We're true sirens. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. Ooh. The end of whaling? What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. They all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last, the biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. I saw the newspaper clipping. You don't believe it, do you? Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Ah. Uh, where's the proof? We're the proof. Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. Got a point. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Good night, stranger. So long. Small little island. Full of superstitious fishermen. And then we got a lady. What you looking at, stranger? Uh, you in the corner, smoking a weird cigarette thing? You can certainly put them away, nothing at all. What is a woman like you doing in a place like this? That's a, I guess that's a reasonable the question. clientele is predominantly male. Tell me something I don't know. I meant nothing by it. I'm just wondering what a woman like you is doing in this flea trap. And I'm wondering what could be going through the head of the chump who goes to disturb her. Let me drink, stranger. I done messed that up. I told you to beat it. You beat it. I told you to beat it. Said the wrong stuff. Pissed her off. What's in here? The uh, locked door. Okay, I checked the bar out. He left. My God. What's this? Charles Hawkins was a heavy drinker, and a debtor. Interesting. Uh huh. Prohibition. Prohibition is just a joke around here. That suits me fine. As long as I'm in control, you ain't having another one of those drinks, sir. Let's see. Harbor Master. What do we got out here? That's that shipwreck. Apparently, that's the ship that brought in that huge catch. The lighthouse is cool. Uh, knock, knock. Look around first. Broken. This place seems half abandoned. Only half. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman, Cat. Captain, the terms of our agreement are clear. Keep your men under control. You cannot afford to provoke us. No need to answer this message. Just make your payment to the carrier, Cat. I wonder if that lady in there, her name's Cat. She might be the one providing the alcohol here. She does seem like the only one out of place.
What would you guys do if you saw a random guy just walk into your place and just start looking through Fishing all your stuff? Equipment. <laughs> Could do with some rust remover. Ew. The toilet. Unusable. Old gravity fed plumbing. Probably goes right into the ocean. What we got here? A souvenir from a more prosperous era. I guess this blackboard hasn't been wiped for more than 70 years. A cella. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. Well, the cella. They said it for me. Now I know how it's pronounced. Ooh, volume two of learning medicine. This is the second volume teaches ethics and good practice to medical staff. That's important. So I was at 22%. Now it's at 24. It only gives you 2%. Not very much. Must be a lot of uh, skill books. Or maybe, maybe if you find all of them, it gives you like one point. Going upstairs. Or talk to the guy. Gotta gather some uh, intelligence before I start having a conversation. Well, that's kind of cool. Like a loft. What a macabre souvenir. What does that even mean? Nothing. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. Fitzroy. In this photograph, a man who looks like Captain Fitzroy is posing on the bridge of a ship. He has a wooden leg. Interesting. Maybe they're not twins, maybe they're the same person. His fish powers grew his leg back. He got an octopus leg. Talk to him. I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. Uh, okay. They're on the table. There they are. Okay. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. But that's all I'll get from them. Only a few dates are still legible. 1890, 1907, and a partial date. The rest of the document, or document is blacked out. We would want this information to be hidden. Huh. Whoever doesn't want people to know what's on the manifest. Doesn't take a detective to know that. Aha. Uh -huh. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors. The fights of the stranded whale. Even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on dark water. Tell me what I can do to help you. Point me in the direction of the warehouse. Your documents are unreadable. Ask him. Yep. And then talk about dark water. Unlocked answer. Ooh, for my skills. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. Uh huh. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? Uh, what did Charles Hawkins really do for a living? I thought that fishing stopped in 1847. Oh, that's right. The manifest was a uh, 1907. I'm surprised Charles Hawkins oh, had goods to store, knowing that whaling stopped in 1847. I see that you're interested in the history of our island. Indeed, maritime activities ceased altogether at the end of the last century. I imagine that the Hawkins family had other types of contracts. But you don't know with whom? No. It was none of my business. Let's see about the warehouse. I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Understood. 
You know who the building belongs to, don't you? Yeah, the Hawkins. Uh hmm. I will lie to you. You tell me. I thought you would have worked it out. No, I'm done. It belonged to Charles Hawkins. Ship owners from father to son. I see. That explains those loading manifests. Too bad I can't get much out of them. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. Where is the warehouse? Let's talk about dark water. Ooh, the photograph. And cat and the miraculous catch. Let's ask about the cat lady. I found a threatening letter signed by a certain cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that, but she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. Hmm. So she's like a mob boss. The miraculous catch. Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's an episode from our glorious past. Go read the story of the sailors return to Darkwater Harbor. It's displayed on a wall of the stranded whale. Or maybe she's a pirate. This photograph. Yeah, the one, the strange one. I was looking at your photograph. The one of the man in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Your father? John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. That must have been what was upstairs. All right. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. Nice. I got another uh, character point. Which is going to go right into eloquence. Two more and I'll get to level three. Yeah. Sanity is still good. I got James Fitzroy. Page 45. Got some clues. Says it's his dad, but I bet you it's not. Oh, we got places. Granted well, and a cult. Okay. Let's go see what we can find. Let's talk to Bradley. Who is Bradley? This guy? That must not be him. Don't I want the music? Right, let's go check out the whale. I thought they stopped whaling. Why is there a whale here? Yep, that's him. this thing is. If we force it too much, we'll break everything. You can't do that. But it's only a fish. A fish? You've got no idea. Don't mm. badmouth what you don't know. I can do my medical thing. You'll pay for it. The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what killed it. You can't I'm not a specialist. Not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. Superstitions Don't put that coming. Back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're <laughs> cops. They can't understand. Yeah, they're shysters. Damn stupid idiots. Forget it. Nobody listens to us anyway. The same goes for you, sir. Move along. I'm a detective, thank you. You're gonna have to talk to me, okay? When you sailors get upset over nothing, you're totally out of your de yeah. Let's do with the sailor's thing. Let's be on his side. They seem to be very agitated about a dead animal. <laughs> You're telling me? These fools think that putting the whale back in the water will bring about the end of the world. 
They're superstitious. If only you knew. They only listen to Captain Fitzroy. And not always. And you. What brings you to our island? I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36. Darkwater Harbor. <laughs> I like you, so I'll be frank with you. Don't go near the place. Don't try to get in. Why? Because I told you so. Learn to accept some friendly advice. Uh -huh. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't understand. You're not sailors. You didn't tell me that the warehouse I was looking for was right in front of us. Because its owner is dead. And I don't want to see you hanging around it. Now, please, leave us to our work. You can't That's understand. No You're not sailors. Oh, yeah, uh, maybe they're hiding the alcohol in it. That must be it. Let's go see what's going on over here. Everything seems a little fishy around here. You live here? Why did you do that, huh? We saw what you did to St. Brendan. Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. What? I never had done such a thing. Who is St. Brendan? I just arrived, you fools. Who is St. Brendan? I've never heard of this saint. Is it a local belief? But everyone knows St. Brendan, the navigator. He's the patron saint of whales and whalers. I bet. What happened to the statue? Go see for yourself. He's at the end of the jetty. There's you, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait, now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. What brings you to dark water? Uh, let's see, who are these guys? Yeah, let's ask about that. The two guys behind you. What are they guarding? The bootleggers. Scum. They're protecting their territory. From whom, I wonder? They really don't have a choice anyway. They're more scared of cat than an attack by drunken sailors. If only they would kill each other. Let's ask about who's cat. Is it cat who's shaking down Captain Fitzroy? Oh, hold on, hold on just a minute. We didn't tell you a thing. <laughs> Nothing at all. Sure didn't. Let's ask about see any work isn't that a bit early for alcohol we got nothing better to do anyway there's not much work around here Fitzroy gives us a few chores every now and again but since the whaling station shut down ain't a lot of jobs left around here so we drink that's about right is but this where you live house yeah that's where we live our boat it's not because it doesn't float anymore that we're going to abandon it. <laughs> nice house. That statue represents your local saint. What do you mean by local, exactly? You wouldn't be looking down at us, like all townspeople do. Saint Brendan. He protected whalers and fishermen like us. Until those assholes defaced him. People have been defensive. I've taken enough of your time. We'll see you later. So those guys are apparently bootleggers, and if this is the warehouse that they owned, uh, the Hawkins family, maybe that's where they're storing the alcohol, so I might be right. Check around real quick. I've ever played investigation games before. You definitely want to look around and find all the stuff. How do I get over there? I guess I go this way. Oh, look at that statue. Knock, knock. Hmm. Ooh, I might be able to unlock it. Anybody around? When did I get a lockpick? Awesome. There. Uh, the spot hidden skill allows you to detect hidden items in a close range. Once all these items are found, 
I don't know what I said. Okay. That looks like a chest. But I don't have a lantern. Oh, I have a lighter. Hello, old friend. Bottle of liquor. They're storing alcohol in here. Ooh, what's this? Cat knows. Oh. Cat knows about the thefts from her stock of liquor. She'll soon find out who it is, and I wouldn't like to be in those shoes. Ooh. It says, uh, leave a bottle behind your uh, hut at the end of your shift if you don't want her to know who to look for as well. Your conscience will be more at ease for this week. Somebody's stealing from the bootlegger's stock of liquor. How do I put this away? Oh, you can lean. Okay. I can pull the lighter out by pressing Y. Shut the door. Don't want nobody to know. Now, how did they defeat? Oh, they put graffiti on it. Don't look like any uh, normal graffiti, though. Lighter. Is there a hit? Oh, I still got a face. Looks like they just painted all over it. Oh, that's cool. Occultism. St. Brendan. Patron saint of sailors and travelers. Desecrated. I can't even say which language it's written in. Cult language. All right, it looks like I think we uh, we looked at everything. Let's go check out that warehouse. Go long, man. Yeah, get, oh, oh, we should probably go over to the bootleggers real quick. It looks like we can crouch in here. Come on, you could tell me. No, if it gets out, I'll have serious problems with you know who. I bet that you hid them somewhere in your hut. Huh? How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. Sounds like they left the warehouse door unlocked. this guy no idea you better keep it shut <laughs> Boy, we don't have a clear conscience quiet I am Sherlock Holmes good sir what's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog we saw you talking to the two soaks go die of thirst a lot of you it'll stink less this guy's nice Ooh. my eloquence isn't very high though I've got proof that you're stealing from your boss. Ooh, I could do that. This passage leads to Hawkins Warehouse. And what does this belong to? Hmm. Yeah, let's uh, ask So, us. who are you? Are you stupid or are you doing it on purpose? Both. Everybody knows us on Darkwater. I've just arrived. Let's just say we're standing guard for the owner of the site. And we let no one enter her property. Oh, okay. Ask her they deface the statue. I went to see the statue of St. Brendan. What makes you think we did it? We're bootleggers, not savages. Who do you think defaced the statue? What do I know? They could have done it by themselves. The sailors? Who else, in your opinion? And who's interested? Let's blackmail him. I've got proof that you're stealing from your boss. What will Kat say when she finds out that it's you who are filching stock? You've got no proof. That's true. Apart from this little note from your friend here. You didn't throw it away? I couldn't know that someone was gonna force the lock. What a f... So, huh. what is it you want? To get into the Hawkins warehouse. That's all. Go on, then. 
and we never want to see your rat snout again. Open sesame. And this is why we investigate everything. Get those clues we're going to need to get into places. We got a broken ladder. And climbing up that. It looks like somewhere to go down. And they got those creepy lanterns in there. And on it. Let's see. I wonder if this will give me some character points. I cannot see nothing. Perfect. Lighter. Oh, this place stinks. Stinks like justice. What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? To enter a reconstruction scene, hold left and right trigger. Ooh, that's bright. Investigator eyeballs engage. With a brain. What happened here? Someone got angry and punched it. Looks like they messed up their hand and they had to use all these bandages in order to clean it up. Good ideas to not punch glass. What's this? These painkillers were prescribed three months ago. Someone has been taking them since the time of the Hawkins' death. Hmm. Yummy. That's all fish, right? It smells as bad as it looks. What's this? Can't sleep. I know how that feels. More sleeping pills? Won't let me look at that. Ooh, there's a painting. Before I look at the crazy cult stuff, let's see if I can look over here. What is this picture of Charles and Sarah Hawkins doing here? Interesting. Anything else? Okay. It looks like we're going to look at the painting. I have like this hunch that I'm going to get sucked into it or something. Is this one of Sarah Hawkins paintings? Leave the reconstruction. Got a character point. Yeah. I could keep putting stuff into the medical one if I wanted to, and that would help me figure out what happened to the well outside. If I did the occultism, I'd be able to find out what the uh, stuff meant on the statue. Or I can get better at still talking to people. Oh, I got two points too. Uh, yeah, let's go with the eloquence since that's what I was working towards anyways. I'm now a professional. Okay. Very cool. Uh, do you want to quit without validating? No. Validate. Yes. Alright, validate. Sanity is still good. Got more occult stuff, which is the statue. And chapter 2. Okay. Alright. The painting is pretty crazy. I like how back then... Paintings like this would be crazy, and people would think that the person doing it not of sound mind, but these days it's pretty common. We see that in horror movies and all that. Okay, so what should we be doing? Maybe we can find a way to get under the place.
Looks like it's further that way. Almost looks like it got darker outside. Can I open this? That's where that guy is standing. Okay. Let's move out of here. Uh, someone has settled in here. Uh-oh. And whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? You! Don't move! Uh -oh. You again. I told you to stay away from this warehouse. How would I threaten him? Strength? I'm a professional. My psychology is not very good. I don't think threatening him would be a good idea. Alright, let's see if I can team up with him. You seem like a competent officer. We should help each other. You're trying to manipulate me, Mr. Pierce. I hate to be taken for a fool. I messed up. Alright, Inspector Lestrade. Let me take a more direct approach. Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange poetry. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirmed that it was removed from the crime scene. Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. He grew Come legs. On. My car's parked down the way. Oh, you got a car? Andrews, would you please shut the door? Open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. There's nobody there. The door was unlocked. Damn it. Her again. Oh, there's that cat lady. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. <laughs> Why you? Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? Who the hell are you? What were you doing on my turf? Whatever I want. I've got my eye on you. We'll meet again. Okay, Cat Baker. Is it far? I'm gonna have to find some on her. Look behind you. At the top of the ridge. You see the building? That's the Hawkins mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. That's crazy. Probably has some cool views. Look at that, we're on chapter three. Garden of the Hawkins mansion. Here's managed to get into the warehouse. Place thought to be abandoned revealed some surprises. Signs of recent occupation, as well as a partly charred painting, interrupted in searching by Officer Bradley. Pierce convinced him to join his investigation. The police officer is willing to drive the detective to the Hawkins Mansion. Here we go. New achievement. What's wrong with that guy's face? Looks like that is. Like the Joker. Maybe Cat did that too. Hey, you creepy guy. It's Nosferatu. Hiding in his home estate. Well, here we are. Hawkins Mansion. And he's a gardener. Holy crap. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. Winchester, huh? I thought the mansion burnt in a fire. This place has fallen into ruin. You know the place very well. Let's not waste any time. Anything I should be wary of? Why is the car- Yeah, let's ask that one. <laughs> He's clearly not doing any gardening. <laughs> you know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. 
Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? Hmm. Seems like he's from New York. Yeah, he's on this island. Thought the mansion burned to the... You know this place. You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? Hmm. I thought the mansion burnt in the fire. I see no scorched trees or fire damage on the building. You're pretty damn observant, ain't you? Yeah, I got eyes. The fire was quickly contained. Old Silas acted as soon as he could. Not soon enough to save the Hawkins. They were trapped in the drawing room. And don't go troubling Silas anymore. His guilt torments him enough as it is. Are we gonna take a closer look at this mansion, or do you have other questions? I got a lot of questions. Um, this place is falling into ruins. You won't get me to believe that it looked any better three months ago. It's a very old building, you know? Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. It's got nothing to do with Charles Hawkins' debts. Ha! Huh. You've already begun to nose around, it would seem. Indeed. So, since you already know it, the Hawkins family couldn't afford the upkeep of this house. It remains to be seen what they did with all their money. I wager it was Charles Hawkins' travels. Let's go up there. Unless you still have questions. I'm gonna ask you every question. I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Uh -huh. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though, he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go. Right? Old man with some strength about him. Let's go. Night falls quickly here. And I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you. If only to reassure Silas. Sure. Come on with. Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go. In case something goes down, I'll need some bait. Hmm. What's this say? Bradley was right. This place is much older than I imagined. 1693. John Wickwood. Doesn't look like a John. Who the graves? And Sarah Hawkins. The flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. So the guy doesn't do any gardening, but I guess he does it for the gravestones. And these ones seem to be broken for the husband. Somebody thinks the husband did something. Charles Hawkins' grave. Who could have done this? I told you. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, detective, does this place inspire any thoughts? Such a strange final resting pay. Uh, let's see. Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? said that he's devastated. Let's go to the mansion. Please give me a minute. I didn't expect to set foot back here after the burial. 
What kind of deranged individual would defile this sanctuary and steal a burnt painting? I don't see Silas doing such a thing, let alone allowing it. Even that broad baker is above that. Lord, have pity on this poor family. And then the kid. Poor kid. Somebody clearly doesn't like the husband. Be ready, officer. Okay. Guess I'll go on my own. It's a pretty cool looking house though. Game saves. I feel like I'm gonna see something. Well, I think this is a good stopping point. Uh, okay, everyone, this was uh, all of Cthulhu, and this was part one. I'll continue this. If you guys like it, go ahead and leave a, a like, subscribe, and comment down below. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.